residents that came out today were invited to help us with our microplastic trawling. All right, we are sailing now. We really wanted a hands-on experience where people could see what's out there and be part of the expedition. Yukon's a very special vessel because she's traditionally rigged. It's a hands-on experience, so people get involved through choice and they can actually get some idea of the forces that go into sailing a vessel like this. We're collating a database. It's to find out how much plastic there is on the surface of the, of the seawater in this particular region. We'll find plenty today. I have no doubt that there will be lots just lying under the surface. We um, use a really fine mesh Newston net that we trawl on the side of the boat for an hour at the time. And when we retrieve that, we find all sorts of things. I saw lots of little bits of plastic film and plastic bags. Do you recognise anything in this one? So that looks oh, like a straw wrapper. Yep. You know that it's in existence, but to actually see it um, yeah, first hand and what's just under the surface is what surprised me the most. What happens when we're finished with a product, and often we do use plastic in disposable items, is that it, it never breaks down, it never becomes food. So it'll always be plastic, just much smaller. It really affects us as much as it affects our wildlife. Plastic just gets in our food chain on, on every level. You may think that one bottle left in the bush or a bit of picnic waste left on the, the sand doesn't matter. But when you're actually out at sea, even though it looks pristine, just underneath, all that waste is gathering and sinking to the bottom. So actually seeing the effect has a lot of impact on people. Plastic pollution um, makes me quite sad, especially in the summer months when a lot of people come down to the beach and don't take away their waste at the end of their picnic or their party. People just need to be more accountable and a bit more responsible and acknowledge their, um, that their lifestyle choices and their laziness affect our environment. One thing res residents can do is not to overfill their bins. So to make sure that their bins, the lid's flat, nothing's spilling out because when it spills out, Possums get it, birds get it, flies down into the bushland, goes into our um, stormwater and into the ocean. One person might say, well, what, can, what difference can I make? But the point is, you've got to make a start. And if one person leads the way, then other people are sure to follow. So if we don't do anything, it's, it's our grandchildren who are going to suffer.